Hello everyone, this is Gary from Gary Reviews Tech. Today I'm getting ready to set up my new generator. It's coming to camping season and I have a new teardrop trailer and I wanted a quiet generator for camping that I could use with sensitive electronics like maybe even a computer. So I did a lot of research and of course Honda is the obvious choice but it's the expensive choice. And it turns out there's a lot of other options out there that are very quiet and very efficient. The iGen 2200 seems to put out a lot of power. Based on the reviews I've seen, it seems to be very reliable and also very quiet. So we're going to set it up, test it out, and see what you think. It seems like it was nicely packaged when shipped. It does come with a wrench and a funnel. It comes with a, a quick start guide and of course the full manual. You'll notice in the manual these are blue. The one that I got is the true camo version. It was a little bit more money but it was a good deal and I thought it was kind of cool. It also came with uh, the oil that you need. Four stroke small engine oil uh, 10W30 and uh, it says this is 0.37 quarts or 0.39 liters. This was the one shipping issue that I had. This um, oil container was a little bit smashed and there was a little bit of oil that leaked out. So hopefully there's still enough oil in here to fill this up. Okay, here's the unboxing. The box was um, nicely padded inside, so hopefully the, the generator is fine. It was wrapped in plastic, and I really like the camo. I'm glad I went with that. It's pretty cool looking. So let's get it out of this bag. Okay, we're going to take off the back two screws. Maybe I should turn this sideways. Okay, the side panel came off easily enough. You can see it's well padded in there. It probably helps with the noise reduction. All right, here is the drain plug. It's got a little dipstick on it. There's already a little bit of oil on it. Okay. Now we'll use the funnel. Okay, let's see if I do it from this way. This says this is the exact amount that it needs, so I'm going to pour the whole amount in. Okay, that's in. Okay, I'm going to clean off the funnel. There's a little bit of oil that went down here. I'm gonna wipe that up. And I'm just gonna check the level. It does have a dipstick. It does seem to be very full. Hopefully it didn't overfill it. It said it should take that whole amount. I'll put some uh, gas in it and we'll start her up. Okay, tighten up the screws. Let's fill this up. 
I'm not going to fill it up to the top. I'm just going to put a little bit of gas to uh, test it out. Since I'm not really going to be using it <coughs> just yet. Okay, that's probably enough gas. And we're pretty much ready to go. I just want to show you the front panel. Then we'll try and start it up. All right, so it's got indicator lights for low oil, for overload, and for output ready. It's got a 5 volt DC USB, two of them, and it's got these little rubber plugs. So everything is pretty well sealed, water sealed, with these rubber plugs. So I'll push that in. It's got uh, parallel operator outlets, so you can connect it to another unit. The efficiency mode, it's got an on and off switch, so you can use the high efficiency mode. They recommend starting that off. A breaker, a reset button, and a ground. And I suppose you really should ground it and read all the directions, which I really haven't done yet. Here, of course, it's got a rubber cover for two outlets. Very simple, straightforward, but it looks very well built. Everything fits nice. On the main dial, it's got an off position, a run position, and a choke position. Okay, it came in the choke position. So first thing you have to do, I believe, is turn this orange switch to on so that it can vent gas. One little pull and it started. Very quiet. And that's on full. A lot of smoke coming out of the back. I may have put too much oil in it. Output is ready. And now it's on run. It is super quiet. I'll get right next to it so you can hear. I really can't believe how quiet it is, really. A lot of smoke coming out of the back. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Maybe I did put a little too much oil in it, but it said that's the exact right amount of oil, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, let's get something to plug into it and see what it's like under load. Plug in a load and see what happens. All right, there's a little bit of a load. High load. What is with all the smoke? Okay, let's try the efficiency mode. So it cuts way down on efficiency mode. Now I'm just running it on fan. It's even running lower. Off. Now there's no load at all. 
see the difference between efficiency mode. Okay, that's running full power. That's running on the efficiency mode. All right, one more time on the sound test. I'm going to get my microphone very close to it. And then I'm going to move away from it. Right now it's on eco mode, so it's very low. Now there's a little bit of a draw. It's on the heater is on low. That's what it sounds like when you're right next to it. About as loud as what I'm talking, I guess. And then high. Now you can hear it rev up a bit. It says overload for a second, but then it stops. So now I'm going to move about 25 feet away. All right, now I'm about 25 feet away. And you can hear it, it's running at full power. I would say it sounds like a very quiet lawnmower. So all in all, it looks like this is gonna work out pretty well. Now back to low to no load at all. Okay, now I'm gonna unplug it. And I'm gonna turn it off. Alright, so that's gonna be it for the iGen 2200 in true camo. I hope you like this video, and if you want to learn more about this generator, there'll be a link in the description where you can check one out for yourself.